Hi, my name is Shafal and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, four. Uh, we have a member of four people. Uh, one is the uh, Taimur Shah, uh, having class number is uh, 46, and uh, Mr. Rasulullah Khan, uh, class number is 45, and Imam Rasul, class number is 47. So our uh, presentation topic is uh, different type of rollers uh, machine which is used for the soil compaction. So first, uh, I would like to uh, clarify that why we can perform the soil compactions. So because when when we compact the soils, so there are different type of properties which increase the soil uh, properties. So when we compact the soil properly, so the soil. Uh, strength always incre also increase and it's uh, the load bearing capacity of the soil it will also be increased. So for that purpose, when we when we want to construct the uh, construct the some building or the roads, so it will be very important for the that pro project. So, so please change the slide. So first of all, uh, I uh, would. Uh, explain that there are different type of soil uh, apparatus or uh, machine or equipment which we use for soil compaction. So first one is the smooth wheel rulers. So it's too much common. Uh, nowadays we are use uh, this one in uh, for the road uh, in road constructions uh, or uh, other uh, way. Uh, smooth wheel ruler as the <coughs> name if i use one large smooth uh, steel drum in the front and either one or two wheels on the uh, near end for the compaction these are either tandems or two wheels or three wheel rulers so smooth ruler uh, uh, um, roller roller mein hamare paas two type ke hote hain uh, we have two types uh, in this uh, smooth wheel rulers uh, one is in we have uh, two two wheels one is uh, in the um, steel and uh, the two left one is uh, the backward uh, are the um, for tires so mostly they are properly uh, smooth the surface of the uh, soils and where we use this one, smooth wheel ruler are used for the gravel sandy and glass and uh, uh, surface dressing. So mostly we are used when we want to uh, finish uh, uh, finishing the road surface. So we use this type of roller. They are not effective in the compacting equipment and uh, softener drop, but they are the most effective in compacting sandy and uh, sandy soils with the fewest passes. When we want to, we have different type of soils. So in this uh, type of roller we use when, where the uh, salty or sand are used. Change the slide please. So this is the smooth uh, wheel roller tire machines which we use for the uh, compaction. These are the wheels. So let's see how we can perform this. So we also use manually, uh, you see in the uh, crickets, when we want to smooth the pitch surface, so we also use this type of ruler. So another type of ruler is the pneumatic rulers. Pneumatic rulers sometimes called rubber tire ruler are the type of large white on the roller with the several row of the rubber tire on the front of the near ends. So in this type of ruler, uh, the surface, the uh, <coughs> The tires which we uh, use for the soil compaction is they are made basically from the uh, rubbers. So in this type uh, we have uh, four four wheels in the machines which cover eighty percent of the area uh, of and they compact mostly. They are good one from the uh, previous uh, which we call the smooth wheel uh, rollers. So where we use this one? 
typically used for the pavement and can help smooth out and the polish project when uh, we want to uh, polish the project mean with uh, to to smoothen and to uh, get the great uh, affections so we use this type of uh, roller also great for the cold lead bitumens of the cold max pavement and layer of the loose soils so the tire which is made from the uh, rubbers so when uh, when we use this roller in a bitumen so bitumen and that type it will be cool because the tire uh, is made from the rubbers so now I done my uh, side so and now I would like to invite Mr. Asadullah Khan to come here and present Assalamu uh, alaikum, my name is Asad Khan and thank you Shakari for inviting me here so as you told today our topic is about rollers there are different types of rollers and uh, one of them is sheep foot roller these rollers are unique due to the round or rectangle protection all over the roller these are also called as why are they called as stamping rollers? Because during the, uh, when we make a road, we have to also uh, smoothen the surface of the soil. So for that, we use this type of roller. Uses. They are used primarily for compaction of cohesive damp soils such as heavy or silty clays. We cannot use them on smooth soils or uh, we cannot use them on uh, uh, Clay soils because uh, the reason behind them is uh, this that they will the soil is settled. So that's why uh, we use it on, on a cohesive soil. They are not effective on loose or sandy soil. Like, like I told you that we don't use it. Due to the protrusion simply treating the soil rather than the compressing it, they will destroy the soil. The soil will settle and it won't work. And you can, these, these are the types, these are the protections that we got. They can be rectangular, they can be square. This is a little video in which you can see. We can see that the soil is cohesive. And the next type of roller are vibrating drum on smooth wheel rollers. They are a type, basically a type of smooth wheel. But uh, they have a new feature that is called vibrating feature. Vibratory rollers are almost identical to smooth wheel, except for one major difference. What is the difference that they have a vibrating component? Why is this vibrating component used? This is used so that the air voids that are filling between the soil they should be handled. Uses densify soil as for or other material through the application of combined static and dynamic forces. To increase that, when the roller is moving, that is uh, a kind of static because it's a, <coughs> it's applying load on it. So it is moving slowly, so it's a static force. But the second type is dynamic force. The vibration is a dynamic force. This roller is best used to reduce air voids and for classifying granular soil. Like I told you, they are used to uh, finish the air voids. Now I would like to invite the for this part of the presentation. Now, all these types of road, uh, compaction uh, equipment <coughs> we have discussed here, these are all uses uh, according to the various condition and soil types. Now, uh, in case we, we have areas with uh, where those which are hard to access, we use uh, these types of uh, compaction uh, uh, equipments. Now, vibratory rubber is a lightweight and portable compaction machine that uses the phenomenon uh, of vibration to compact the soil. A sleek body and easy operation enable it to reach out to small nodes. This making it perfect equipment to use in hard to access places. <coughs> These machines use power from either petrol or diesel. Vibratory rubber compact the soil mechanically using high impact force. Impact forces are those forces which are uh, uh, huge uh, and uh, they are applied for short interval of time. So they are ideal during the construction of roads and pavements where they need strong compaction. So this is the picture of uh, um, Rammer where they basically it is a, a motor which produces torque in the torque to shift those uh, 
movements to the crank here and it transfer it to the uh, plates through this uh, cylinder. <coughs> and it, uh, the, the plates, uh, the, the rate of, of uh, the rate of uh, blows is uh, 500 to 700 blows per minute. And another type is plate compactors. Plate compactors exert force on the ground using a large plate, usually made from steel. <coughs> That vibrates rapidly, the force compacts the soil and the vibration encourages the grains to move closer together, eliminating air pockets and providing tighter compaction. The, the difference between these two, these, uh, these two types of compactors or we use the, the plate compactors when the soil is uh, granular in nature and when the soil is clay or silt we use the other type which is the rammer uh, compactor. And uh, the, the speed of the this plate is the vibration which is uh, 2500 to 6000 uh, uh, vibrations per minute. This is the animation of this Ramo machine. This is called a reciprocating motion in the gear. Thank you. Thank you very much.